Put yourselves down, prepare for, prepare for a wonderful, wonderful evening ahead. Some of you, some of you I suspect were at a Hawk Fest a few weeks back. <laughs> and you all know how magical the current lineup of Hawkwind is. But first, may I beseech you just to listen for a few moments to something that I, uh, it's a campaign that, uh, that matters an awful lot to the band, to me, uh, and to a lot of you as well. Um, in years gone by, some of you would have seen a lady called Debbie Matthews. Um, she's Mom. talked a lot about dog theft uh, and runs a fabulous website, Dogs Lost, or Dog Lost, I should say. And her claim to fame is that her father was Sir Bruce Forsyth. Uh, and if you don't know it already, Sir Bruce's ashes are bound to a wall pretty much probably just over there, but under the stage. That's, that's where his ashes are. Um, so it's a very, very special place for him, for her. Yeah, exactly. Nice to see you, to see you. Oh, no. <laughs> so it's, a, it's really sad that Debbie herself, Bruce's daughter, couldn't be here today to tell you about her charity and what they're aiming to do. Um, I believe she's got COVID. Uh, as have a number of her, her staff. So it's fallen to me, Matthew Wright, to do it for you. It won't take very long, but I really, I, I really hope you listen because the end, the end of this is very important. Dog theft, dog theft has been increasing over the years, but 2020 saw the biggest increase with proof of organized crime involvement. Dog Lost, Debbie's charity, uh, their website had a 250% increase in reports on 2019. I'd say no one was safe from it as a crime because if you love your dogs, they're like members of the family. If someone takes your dog, it's like someone takes a member of your family. If they're elderly and it's their dog, it could be their only companion. Dog thieves don't care. They take any dog, any size, any breed. It's rarely investigated, unfortunately, because even though it's part of organised crime, dogs are classified as property. They're essentially no different in the eyes of the law to a bicycle. Steal a bicycle, it's upsetting, but it's just a bike. Steal your dog. I mean, yeah? So, the present estimation uh, from police figures is that seven dogs a day are being stolen. We believe the number in England and Wales is closer to 60 a week. They're stolen from gardens, houses, parks, a friend of my mother's had their car stolen with the two dogs inside, just for the dogs. Organised crime. They can be any breed, I say, designer breeds, toy breeds, uh, gun dogs, they're particular targets. Thieves will take litters of puppies. Rewards for returns, you've probably heard about them. They're rarely handed out, it's just a scam. The weirdest thing, and this is really what I, I'm here to talk about, what Dog Lost is, is here to talk about. It is legally binding for dogs to be microchipped. But that is not a proof of ownership. And there is no law to make it compulsory for vets or anyone else to scan dogs for microchips when they're found. Which begs the question, what's that fucking point? So we have a system where we microchip dogs and then we never look at the microchips again whenever they're presented at a dog surgery, even when they're being registered for the first time at that surgery. So, this is where we're, where we're really getting with this. The government has been working with Dogs Lost and other campaigns, the Stolen Missing Pet Alliance, the Pet Theft Reform Campaign. There have been three successful government petitions, two debates in Parliament, and the government is starting the Pet Theft Task Force this is just, it sounds like delay after delay. You know, it's a tent. Pet theft task force. They will delay a bit longer. Anyway, right now they're saying that they're open to the pet theft task force suggestions. One of which is for the government, for, to make it law to actually check for the microchips. So we would hope, on behalf of Hawkins and everybody here, that that is a campaign you would support. A sane campaign. If you're going to microchip dogs, check the fuckers when you take them into the vets. And on that note, I would like to say, be prepared, ladies and gentlemen, for Hawkwind at their very, very finest, live at the London Palladium! 